Hey there, gold makers. This is Reckles with Want to Buy Gold, and I have a special guide for you today. I'm, I'm actually a little ashamed to call this uh, a full gold guide. I feel like it should be called a, a thing a guy writes on a napkin at a bar. But you know, the guy's not not something that like a a, a, a creepy guy you meet at a bar writes on a napkin. Like the the guy you meet at a bar is like an, in a nice business suit, but the. The thing on a napkin is still something you find like two weeks later, crumpled up. Um, anyway, so what is this? Um, it, it'll it'll make you a lot of gold, I promise. So take a look at ghost iron ore on your auction house, and then take a look at ghost iron bars on your auction house, and you should see that ghost iron ore is selling for about one gold fifty, and ghost iron bars are selling for about five gold. This is the global medians, and I've looked at a bunch of servers, and while prices vary around a little bit, um, I've found found some that are more profitable and some that are breaking even but I haven't found any yet where the smelting of ghost iron ore into bars is a good idea so if you are a boss at gold making and you know exactly what to do from this point on then shut the video down and go on your merry way but um, if you want to know how I would go about doing this uh, then stay tuned Here's my game plan. We want to know exactly how much things are going to be selling for in the future. Now, we've looked manually at our auction house, but go to theundermindjournal.com and you'll see their OHLC graphs. This is commonly referred to as a candlestick graph. If you've never really seen these other than the newspaper and you don't know how they work, well, the dark boxes represent a falling in price. Ghost iron bars started that day at four gold and then they fell throughout the day and finished that day at two gold. It just was falling in price all throughout the day. It could have wiggled around throughout, but by the end of the day, it was selling for lower than it started. Now, if you've got a white candlestick, but it's got a little wick on the bottom and a wick on top, what that means is that uh, prices went up throughout the day, but it also uh, bottomed out a little bit throughout the day, and it topped up higher than uh, it actually finished. So, let's say uh, bars were selling for three gold at one point throughout the day, and then it finished off at five gold uh, at the very, very end of the day, but you know, at the very start of the day, you woke up and you posted all of your ore that you mined the day before, and prices fell because you undercut whoever opened, you know, the opening price of ore. And then at noon, someone came in and was leveling their blacksmithing, and so they bought a whole bunch of bars or ore or whatever we're talking about here. Um, it's an example. Hush. You know, after that person came in and raised the price, someone else came in and bought out a whole bunch more for their jewel crafting. And so prices went up even more, and so we got 550, and then prices dropped down to 5 gold. So that's how you would get this uh, candle with two wicks. All right, so we know how these candlesticks work. Okay, so look at these to see what a good range is for your server. If you want to know more about how you can try and predict prices with this kind of stuff, just Google technical analysis. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so now that we know how much we could sell bars at, we need to know how many ore to buy so we know how many ore to turn into bars. So we go to WoW Auction and type in Ghost Iron Bars for our server and see the estimated sold per day. Now, you can expect to sell about a third of the estimated sold per day if you repost once or twice. So just look at how much work you're willing to put into the auction house and uh, remember that the more you repost, the more you drop the price. So you can sell half or two-thirds of the estimated sold per day if you're just on top of it, but everyone else is going to want to sell their ore too, and you're going to drop the price down. And the last thing we'd need to talk about is Trade Skill Master, and since we are selling near uh, the global median, 
we can use our normal operation that I talked about in my Trade Skill Master setup. So, like I said, you only need two operations to sell virtually anything. You need one for onesie twosie items and then one for bulk items. So this you're going to sell in bulk. So go ahead and use your bulk item uh, operation for this and you're good to go guys. That's it. I'm going to cut it short here. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions. If you've had any success or found any uh, little tricks with any other smelting. Um, because this seems to be something that people have just completely forgotten about. Since smelting isn't really a thing in Warlords of Draenor. Kind of like prospecting. So let me know and I will talk to you guys soon. Remember to search, craft, post every day. Have a good one guys. Now, Trade Skill Master is far and away the most popular gold making add on among serious gold makers right now. But because of some creative marketing by Dynasty, the company that owns Tycoon, um, you can get uh, 2,500 free gold uh, plus whatever games you play.